to get our roasted garlic going or our garlic roasted garlic for our roasted garlic mash just want to take off the excess here i have a garlic garlic i just want to take your knife and cut off the top so just like this like that put those to the side we are going to get a piece of foil paper we don't even need to put a big piece and we are going to get close close our garlic into this you just have to try and close on it you see me so just like this like this I'm going to take some olive oil and it drizzle all over our garlic not a lot then we're going to go in with some salt and pepper and we're going to go in with some you can use your favorite herb I am a thyme girl I love thyme and just sprinkle over that you know just to give it a little this i'm just going to put this in the oven for at 350 i would say probably like 15 minutes so it's time for potatoes we're going to peel wash and cut them add them to a pot with some cold water add some thyme scallion and some salt we're going to put it on the stove and bring it to a boil i know we're used to making the water come to a boil first but this way just ensures that the potatoes are cooked evenly so we're going to drain them and of course we'll just discard the thyme and the green onion it just gives the pot a good flavor i just love natural herbs it's it's a me thing it's just preference roasted garlic and it's soft you see them soft and just a pull pot see that this smells so good back to our garlic we're just going to Crack them out. If you squeeze them, they shall come up. Look at that. Look at that. That means I don't have to even cut it. I want to get the skin out there. Korean, you know how to do this. We don't even need any more than that because I'm not making a lot. If you want, you can just use a knife and paste it out. Paste it. I'm just going to leave it like that because I want little chunks in my mashed potatoes. For our potatoes, here they are, all drained and such. You can use a potato masher, masher, but we got it from them like they got no long time. But I have a mixer and I have a stand mixer too. I'm only using this because it's just a small amount. So I just want to go in and just, you know, mash it out a little bit. Turn on this. some butter here I have some 35% cream that I've warmed up it's hot you don't want to put anything cold in it we have our garlic and just a little bit more salt if I had some white pepper we could use some of that but I don't have any white pepper you guys hear John in the background and we're just going to blitz again <laughs> And here's our roasted garlic mashed potato guys I must admit they were a little waxy but it still came out good fluffy and nice and soft I served it with some stuffed chicken breasts that video is also on my channel thank you so much for watching please remember to like comment and share and subscribe have a good one